Brownies have to be one of the biggest crowd pleasers and there's so many different combinations out there, but we're making a triple coconut and cherry brownie today. Yum, so we've got some chocolate here. Into that, I'm gonna put a whole lot of butter and some coconut oil. I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. We're going to be adding coconut sugar, which is actually made from the nectar of the coconut blossom. And amazingly, it really retains all of the nutrients and it's super delicious. Oh, chocolate's melted. Nice, let's give that a whisk. All right, Sammy, coconut sugar. The great thing about coconut sugar is that you can use it as you would any other regular sugar. Same ratios, one to one. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Smells like a tropical holiday. Ready for some eggs? Yep. Don't splash me, Sammy. I am definitely going to be licking this bowl. Do you think it's dangerous cracking eggs straight into the bowl? You're a professional, Sammy, you'll be all right. But at home, if you are a little bit nervous, it's a good idea to crack each egg into a separate small bowl, and that way you can pick out any eggshells. Okay, finally, just the egg yolk. I want some too. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Okay, so flour and some baking powder to go in next. And for the final coconut addition for our triple coconut and cherry brownies. Some desiccated coconut. And these dried cherries have finished soaking in some boiling water. And the plastic wrap helps keep the steam in so they all get nice and soft. I'm gonna add this in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fold these cherries in. They're so mm. juicy and cherry goes perfectly with coconut. All right, do you want to pass me the baking tray? Sure. All right, let's pour it in, Sammy. Need some help? All right, make sure you leave some bits in the bowl for me to lick. Thank you. <laughs> and now this goes in the oven to bake and I'm going to lick that bowl. Mm. It tastes like toffee and caramel and coconut. It's good. 